What's up guys, Sam here back with another video. Now last week I mentioned a new video series idea that I wanted to start for some time now. So today's gonna be the brand new installment of that series, alright? So I did ask you guys to suggest a good video title for this series, but sadly no one did. So yeah, I went to Google+, Plus, my favorite place for all things Android, and I got a bunch of submissions. So shout out to everyone who submitted your setup for me to share on this video. But yeah, enough jibber jabber guys, I want you to show me how you theme your droid. First up on deck is Walter with his cool purple and black setup on his Nexus 6. The wallpaper features a rather ghoulish photo of Jason Voorhees. Now the wallpaper is from AMOLED Pro and I really like this setup from the custom Google search bar, the custom clock widget that he modified at the bottom, to all the quick toggles on that custom nav bar. Walter has a torch, Wi-Fi toggle and screen record or video record toggle all on his navigation bar. With the other buttons of course. He's on a custom ROM which is a Dirty Unicorns ROM, rocking Nova Launcher with a Nano Icon Pack. Walter uses two themes to achieve this look. He has a pitch black theme, which is the one that I'm currently using, and he also has a focus theme to theme his quick settings panel. At the top of his screen you can see the custom header that he has and this is from Dirtyville Header Pack. Great submission Walter, I really like how your setup stays consistent all the way through your UI. Thanks for submitting. Next up is Hamad. Now this one is a single home screen setup on its LG V10. It's a stark difference from the one that we just saw, it's really colorful and bright and I like it. The custom widget used here is Organic by Will K. The icon pack used is the Momo and it's called Dark Matter. And the wallpaper he says is from iOS. Now the overall theme looks pretty nice and there's a cohesiveness among all the elements here. The navbar icons, the wallpaper all go together as if it was from the same theme. I especially like notification counter on the app icons as well as the navbar which he got from the Play Store and it's called Pixbar. Good job Hamad and thanks for entering. Next up is from my good friend Billy and this is another single screen setup on his OnePlus 5. It's pretty minimalistic looking, simple, clean, but it also gives off a dark aesthetic. I'm definitely digging this wallpaper, it kinda looks like a red and blue honeycomb. I'll put links for this and everything else I mentioned in the description down below. Now the wallpaper goes really well with the widgets that he has here, especially this clock widget here that's called Red Abyss. Alright, it's pretty futuristic and looks very badass. Now because this device is so new, there is no root available as yet, so everything here is pretty much stock. So that battery indicator at the top doesn't need root and it's from an app called Powerline. Awesome setup Billy, thanks for entering. Next setup is themed by David and it's very unique, it's been themed all the way through and I love that. He's rocking the pure Nexus ROM with custom nav bars, widgets and icon packs, all customized by him. Now starting off we have this really nice dark wallpaper, it looks like a black and white photo of a plant by Prince Abid and edited by David himself. I do like the custom black and white google search bar widget and the theme he used is a pink and blue substratum theme by, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Now the icon pack you use here is the Ezra icon pack and his launcher of choice is Nova Launcher. Clean setup David, thanks for posting. The fifth and final setup is from Amanda and it has a multi-screen setup that has a lot going on. Now let's start off with the first screen here which is very minimalistic, in fact it's actually just the time and day and what I think is the app drawer button. It's called Starry Night Sky and the KLWP wallpaper that she chose is called Simply Blur by Yusuf Sahu. And it's modified by her. Now the next screen up is the music screen and this is pretty much a huge music player widget. It has a cover art, the scrub track, the play, pause and volume buttons. The third page is the events page which consists of a calendar widget to keep track of, you guessed it, your events. And it's a component made by Jordan X. The fourth screen is the weather screen which not only has the weather for the current day but for the next five days as well. Now this component is called Project X Weather Component. And below that we have a few of our favorite apps. These icons are by Tim Austin. Now the final screen is the RSS news feed page where she follows a few of her favorite websites. Overall this is a pretty clean and modern looking setup that not only looks good but serves some function as well. Great setup Amanda, thanks for entering. So yeah guys that's pretty much it from me in this video. I do hope you like this new video series. Hopefully it all goes well. And yeah, if you have any feedback, comments, suggestions, if you want to submit your setups, let me know in the comment sections down below. As always, guys, you've been hella awesome. My name is Duckcoin, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Zine.